Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. When we're waiting for people to get on, let's go over the announcements. Um, all the 15 Minute Fuels are on YouTube, so make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Dr. Zeno, and subscribe. Uh, go to our Dr. Zeno fa uh, fan page, like that. Hey, Marla. Hey, Michael. Good to see you guys. Um, SoundCloud, Stitcher iTunes, all the Dr. Zeno, Instagram, Dr. Zeno. We got some really cool stuff going on there. And today starts the full out assault like we always do, 100% mode. So 100% mode means this. Today is, you'll probably in a few minutes, this is why I'm doing it a little bit later. Um, the We Are Heroes Season 2, Episode 1, will be airing in just a few minutes, probably you know within the hour. Uh, it's brand new, amazing stuff. Super 4K high definition. That's why, you know, we found it takes a little bit longer to upload uh, on YouTube and Facebook because of such the high quality and the de and the uh, the amount of resolution that's on there. So make sure you watch it in HD. And it really is just it's it's wonderful. It's cinematic. It's awesome. And we have some fun stuff as well. So we have a couple episodes uh, going to go for you. It'll be Mondays and Thursdays. You'll see those and you'll really enjoy them. So make sure you take a look. It'll be on Facebook in, a, in an hour, but you could just always go to YouTube if you're subscribed there and check out episode one from season two. Now, the episode was called Embrace the Unknowns, and it is such a huge concept that I love and I enjoy talking about because everything is in the unknown. Everything, I hate to say everything's in the invisible, but it really is, right? I mean, everything started with the thought, started with that imagination. And in the unknowns, the things that a lot of us fear, the uncertainty, that's where the opportunity is. That's where the the knowledge and wisdom come from. That's where the genius is. That's where the quote unquote luck is. It's all in the unknowns. And so those unknowns or those fears and fogs keep us from going forward. But sometimes you just got to take the next step and go far enough so then you could see what's next or the next step to take. So say all that to say you just get moving towards what that is. There's no better time than now to do it. Uh, what the season did, you know, when you watch that first episode, we actually went over a kind of a, a condensed version of what went on since the last episode, the season finale in June to here now. So Whitney and I kind of went over and brought everybody up to speed. So you'll have everything there. And uh, it's it's been great. So let's go back to the unknowns. So in the unknowns, now when we have these things moving forward, we just we're just well, I don't know what's going to happen, or why should I do this, or maybe you know because I always say your brain only knows what it could lose. Your brain doesn't know what it could gain. It might think it could gain something well, but we're conditioned as human beings to avoid pain so much more than it is to go for pleasure. So that's why even if your brain logically says. If I get this other job, if I pursue the thing I love to do, if I, you know, whatever that relationship may be, if I start my own business, whatever it is that you love, as soon as you say that, then your brain thinks, well, what am I going to lose? Well, I'll lose a steady job. I'll lose the benefits. I'll lose the security. I'll lose the comfort, right? We get, we, we, we become comfortably tormented. That's what starts to happen. Because your brain even logically knows that, hey, you know what? You probably could make money. You could have a better relationship. You could have a better job. Yeah, you may. It's your brain thinks you you maybe could have. Then the brain goes, but maybe what if you don't? You know, what if you don't do it? And so then, are you gonna are you gonna regret that you left the comfortableness and torment of your secret identity? And so we stay there. Versus your spirit feels right. So your spirit it embraces and understands what it can gain because that's where all that inspiration comes from. Inspiration, right? It's, it, it's enthusiastic. It's within you. It's always been there. And that feeling that inspired feeling, that's the most real. Uh, what should I say? That is the reality. See that inspired feeling. When you get excited about something, you have an amazing idea and I, you, we've all been there and you feel it and you're excited about it. That is more real than your current situation. So that enthusiasm, that inspiration, that's the one that you go with. And that's easy to say, but you might not see a possible way of doing it 
with the knowledge you have right now. But when you start moving forward, then what's going to happen is you'll, you know, you, you move a hundred feet. And when I get a hundred feet out, so to speak, metaphorically, I'll be able to see things differently and I'll know how to take the next hundred feet, you know, or I, I move forward and then time plus moving forward, uh, doors close, doors open. You run into someone, you, 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 you learn something and it starts this journey that brings you to that point. That's going to always be better than you ever thought it was. You know, someone asked me the other day, if I was to go back to my 30 year old self, 30 and say, what would you do different? Or what would I say to my 30 year old self? And it's my same answer that I say, if I was to go back in time at any age was I would put my hand on my shoulder and said, and just say, thank you for working hard. Thank you for being faithful. And no matter what happens or everything you go through, understand that's always going to work out amazingly. It's going to always be better than you thought. And that's what I tell my 30 year old self. That's what I tell my 20 year old self. And that's what my 60 year old self will probably tell me now. You no, know, just move forward, enjoy the process and, and, and grab the opportunities. And the great thing is when you do grab an opportunity, so let's talk about that. Let's say you're inspired to do an opportunity, that opportunity inspired could be a learning lesson on what not to do. You follow what I'm saying? So let's say I grab this opportunity and I'm excited about it and it just doesn't go logically how I wanted it to, but man, maybe I learned something amazing, right? Maybe I learned something that's going to give me the sight to be able to move to that next point that I need to go to. So understand that in the micro, in the micro, it's like the recipe. You know, when you cook a cake, you don't, look, you don't check it three minutes in. You're not going to be happy. If it says cook for 20 minutes, the end result is what we're going after. So in the middle there, things might seem shaky. They might not seem together, but it doesn't matter because it's the middle of the recipe. So you stay faithful to the journey. You course correct and allow life to take you through it. It's really the best thing possible. It's not a fate thing. You know, it's when, it's when knowing comes to, you know, it's when believing goes into knowing. Right. So believing is that, well, when you believe something, it means you have a belief in it, but that doesn't mean you're a hundred percent. When you know something, you absolutely know a hundred percent. So that's where the certainty is. So know that the, the genius, the God, the, 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 the opportunity, the everything, everything in your life that you want, it's always in the unknown. There's not a, there's not a situation in your life that looking back, you actually plan specifically and it went exactly the way you want. It doesn't work that way. You're going to look back and be like, wow, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't meet so-and-so or do this, or if I wasn't here at this time of my life, you know, all these things compounded over time, thousands of things come together to bring you to the point where you're like, wow, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So I leave that guys to you. Hope you enjoyed that. Please share this. Embrace the unknowns because that's the thing is if, I, if, if today was just the nudge to push you to go forward, whatever that might be in your relationship, in your family, in your job, maybe it's being a hero where you're planted. Let's say you're saying, listen, I'm going to step it up at work. I'm going to become the best salesperson. I'm going to become the best employee in my company. I'm going to move up by my value that I bring. Whatever that is, you know, enjoy the unknowns. Go for it. And then when those doors open, understand that it's all part of the, the plan that's going to be way better than we ever thought possible. So please share this. Also, uh, comment below. Any comments, I answer them 100% of the time. Also, comment on our YouTube channel or on the Facebook uh, Dr. Zeno fan page. And within the hour, make sure you check out the We Are Heroes Season 2, Episode 1, with the same title as this uh, 15 minute fuel, which is embrace the unknowns. It's the greatest thing. I really, it's one of the greatest things I've ever really realized in the last couple of years that when you realize the unknown is where it's at, you seek it. So I'm excited for you guys. Let your life be filled with unknowns. It's the best place to be. That's where growth you're on the cusp of growth and amazing things when you're surrounded or you're entering into all the unknowns. Have an amazing day, an amazing night. And my family and I will see you tomorrow for 15 Minute Fuel. God bless.